Hello everybody! Today we're going to talk about the effects of music on plants. And we will investigate a study from Dorothy Ritalak. But first, what is music, Charles? Well, Elio, it's very simple. According to scientists, music is a wave. A wave? Yes, but not this kind of wave, obviously. More like this kind of wave. And each length wave corresponds to different notes. Can you show us? So, do you think that plants like surfing? Well, personally I don't, because plants cannot hear. We have no hear that. Eat five vegetables a day. They cannot hear, but they can feel. They can feel the vibration from the sonic wave through the water inside their vacuole that compose 80% of the vegetal cell. Can you, can you feel it? I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Well, in order to answer that everlasting question, Dorothy Retalak designed a study in which a F note was played to two sets of different plants for eight hours straight or three hours straight. The eight hours group died within two weeks, while the other one and the control did not die. Furthermore, the three hours group was much healthier than the control group. She then exposed plants to rock music in a similar fashion. More precisely to Led Zeppelin and Jimi Hendrix. Well, rock music caused the da same damage on marigolds and when they were exposed to a flood, they were expressing smaller leaves and longer stems. And also, plants tend to lean away from the rock music source, and unfortunately, they died within two weeks. Well, I guess we can say that plants doesn't like Robert Plant a lot. Fortunately, plants still love sunshine. And a similar study was conducted with classical music. Plants grew toward the speaker, entwining themselves around it. 